Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 30th March 2023, the Ministry of Defense has inked rupees 1700 crore deal with Brahmos Aerospace for the next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries long range for Indian Navy. The new mobile coastal batteries are going to be equipped with supersonic Brahmos missile which will significantly enhance the multi-directional maritime strike capability of the Indian Navy. The delivery of NG MMCBs is scheduled to commence from the year 2027. Indian Navy will be deploying these new mobile coastal batteries at strategic locations across the maritime zone of India to neutralize threat from both eastern and western seaboard. The new next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries will be dual purpose that is can be used for land as well as the anti-ship attack roles. The ANC command that is Anman and Nicobar command has already deployed from host coastal battery on the island. On 29th November, the ANC that is Anman Nicobar Command and Western Command has successfully test fired the extended range Brahmos surface to surface missile. Brahmos is the world's only supersonic missile which can be launched from air, water and land and also under the water making it a truly versatile platform. The missile is powered by a solid fuel rocket in stage 1 followed by a ramjet engine in stage 2 which allows the missile to reach maximum speed of Mach 3 and above and having a range of 290 kilometers. The ramjet engine allows the missile to sustain the supersonic speed throughout the flight. It can fly as low as 5 meters above the surface. The missile's range has been extended to 450 km just by software upgrade and is known as Brahmos ER or Brahmos Extended Range. Brahmos has been designed for pinpoint accuracy due to its primary role as an anti-ship missile which is critical for anti-ship mission. Ships are maneuverable targets, hence less accuracy will either cause less or no significant damage to the warships. Brahmos has circular error probability of just 1 meter. Due to the Earth's curvature, any ship's radar is effective to locate low-flying target in the range of 22 kilometers. Brahmos has been programmed very carefully to exploit this vulnerability of radars of the warship. Altimeters used in Brahmos is programmed to take sudden dip while 20 km away from target. At this range, where Brahmos is vulnerable of detection, it takes a dip and crews just 5 meters above the sea level. Due to the heavy use of composite materials, the missile also has very small RCS, just the size of a bird, which makes it very difficult to detect. Its algorithm has been designed to beat any electronic countermeasures. At terminal stage, the missile does a Cobra or S maneuvers. As per Dr. Sudhir Mishra, ex-CMD of Pramhos Aerospace, the adversaries are left only with 20 to 24 seconds to respond and no missile or artillery gun or close weapon system with high rate of fire can neutralize Brahmos. Without disclosing the name of the country, Dr. Mishra had told that a developed country did research on Brahmos and told that the air defense can only protect against 1.2 or 1.3 Brahmos missile, which means if two or more Brahmos are fired, only God can save the target. This is why NATO had codenamed Brahmos as Widowmaker. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.